Hi, I'm Sabrina Monarch, and I'm going to walk us through how to use astro.com's extended chart selection. I'm going to share my screen to do that with you. So you'll want to open, here we are, um, astro.com, and go under the tab that says free horoscopes and go to extended chart selection over here. You can make an account. I currently use a software, but before I had a software, astro.com was the absolute best way to look up my chart with any of the special settings that I wanted to use. So I'm gonna put in our lovely Anais Nin's birth information. Was born on the 21st of February in 1903. Beautiful Pisces. One of my favorite authors at 8.16 p.m. And don't worry about choosing the country, just start typing the city. And so here you'll get all these additional settings. Um, lots of different types of charts you can do. Um, for example, and I'm just going to go through a simple natal chart, and I'm going to use Porphyry House Method, which is the house method that we use in evolutionary astrology. So the house system here, it says default, and you'll go down and choose Porphyry. Stay with Tropical. Um, and then you'll want to add some asteroids. Um, maybe not right away if you're not super into asteroids, but if you've been studying astrology for a while and you want to add in something like that, I'd go for it. And then add the true node and the descending node so that you'll see the north and south node. And then we'll just click here to show the chart. And then as far as being able to read this map, this takes time and practice and study. Um, here they do actually number the houses for us, which is nice. So you know which house, you know, here if you know how to read the glyphs. Um, for example, like this is Pluto right here, and you can see that Pluto is in the ninth house. Um, this is the ascendant, this first line over here that marks the first house, and we see that it's in the sign of Libra. So if you even just Google search astrology glyphs and memorize those, you can write them in a journal and get really familiar with them. Um, soon you won't have to you know, look it up or translate it, you'll just actually read and speak astrology without having to translate. And then down here, it's going to tell you sun is in two degrees Pisces, moon, zero degrees Capricorn. Um, anyway, though, if we had looked this up in Placidus, some of the house placements might shift a little bit. So we can go back to the chart selection and edit it from here if we want to go back to um, Placidus, which is the default. Or, yeah, Placidus right here. And see, it's really a very similar chart. Um, and you'll find, you'll access different information about your horoscope with different house systems. Um, yeah, very little changes here. Anyway, I just wanted to share this so that you know how to look up Porphyry, because if you don't have a software or didn't know how to use extended chart selection, um, then, you know, how do you know what to do? Um, and then there's lots of other kinds of cool charts that you can pull up here, like Sinistry, if you have another person. Um, but I'll get to that another day. Anyways, thank you for watching this, and I hope that you learned how to use astro.com a little bit better.